I've only got one rule. Well, then that's the rule you're going to have to break to be in the sequel. V Superman Dogs of Justice. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah, they, did, they did a lot of that. By the end, but okay, before the movie started, I was expecting this gesture of putting your fist into your hand to really sum up the movie, and I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Actually, I and I, I told people on Facebook on my personal page like I was really nervous about this movie more than I have been about anything else mm-hmm. ever. Not, no. Well. I feel. Did, were, didn't you get married? Yeah. Um, are we gonna make this a spoiler? We're gonna say oh, spoiler. Yeah, we're oh, yeah, we're yeah, spoiler. Okay. Um. Uh. Let's let's talk about Batman killing people. Sure. Let's talk about that for a minute. That's actually one of the more complex things about the movie that's not explained well, and it's not always a bad thing when it's not explained well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have to make some logical leaps for yourself. Uh, Batman kills a lot of people in this movie, Mm -hmm. Um, but he doesn't kill everybody. He does not, especially when he gets in melee combat. Yeah, well, and the thing is, is, you know, if... If bat, if the bat was just sort of, oh, I'm, I'm going to kill people. It's very convenient, mm-hmm. very convenient. Um, then he would have just blown up. That, <laughs> that yes. he would have just shot everybody. Right. But he doesn't do that. It looks like this is an iteration of Batman that will take lives in the context where it's unavoidable, but will preserve life when possible. And only, and only kill people that are obviously trying to kill him. They they are trying to they are trying to, to to cause loss of life as well. Those 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 men. Uh, this it's it's now a famous leaked scene, or maybe it's just part of a trailer. I don't know. Uh, you never know anymore. Um, where he's in that it, it's a I call it an orange the warehouse. Du- yeah, the orange dusty room, mm-hmm. and um, you know those guys had assault rifles, and yeah. they were trying to kill him. Yes, they were. One stabbed him. Yeah, and <laughs> he we stabbed him right back. Yes, he did. Right, exact the same spot. He got stabbed, but he only killed one guy. In that scene, yeah. I actually had concerns that the movie was not going to be long enough. (laughs) Have you seen a movie in the last five years? Okay. So, um, I was also concerned that Doomsday was just going to be a CGI mess. And I think they kind of... Almost kind of... I'm not going to say hid hid that problem... But there was, they had a lot of special effects and sparks and, and light around him, so they didn't have to they didn't have to worry about it too much. Um, honestly, when you get a really good look at him, because this this iteration of Doomsday has the um, ha- has the Nova Blast ability that Superman now has, he can just be an explosion. Although there's no detriment to him, he can, he can just do that. Um, when you get a good look at the model. He's solid. Yeah, so I, nothing I, wrong with it. I remember thinking uh, uh, when we were leaving the theater, hey, I didn't notice Doomsday. Mm-hmm. And CG becomes bad when you notice it. Right. Um, which there was a there was a part where I noticed super, it was just Superman flying away. I was like, oh, they couldn't find some rope. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what do you mean? Like like rope for like special effects? Like just to like, carry him off? Like, like for, floating him off? Or? Yeah. It looked, it, it, looked, was, it looked too bad? Yeah, it was just him flying away from yeah. Lois. Um, but yeah, uh, I, will say, I will say this about uh, Doomsday. Um, a little contrived. Like, yeah. as soon as he came out of his amniotic sack, we both thought the same thing. Urukai. Urukai. Yeah. And um, then, uh, then once you got to look at him, like, there's, there's no denying that he looks exactly like a cave troll. Right. He does. Um, he very much does. You know, until he starts to like let like let loose his skin. I wish, yeah, I wish he would have had more spikes, because the Doomsday I remember had a lot more spikes. He had the most important one. It's at one point, uh, I think it's uh, Wonder Woman that chops it, off his arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the bone starts coming back, and all I could think was <laughs> <laughs> just giving everybody the bird uh, with his tibia. Yeah, I was also concerned. Actually, I'm sorry, that was his ulna. Whatever. Okay. Lex is. I was like. I was. I was really worried that Lex was not going to be done right. Um, now this is a little. I think this is a little bit of a point of contention. A little bit. Uh, at least we were talking about it earlier. I, I'm actually okay with him. I kind of liked. Um, 
Jesse way, Eisenberg. Yeah, the way he was done, I, I liked. The, I liked the way the character the character was put. It, it almost and he was like like I was explaining at one point. He's almost like he was almost like the Riddler and the Joker uh, in this particular uh, movie because like there's not much to lighten the mood through the entire movie. And his scenes were like the closest thing you could get. When it comes to when it comes to how I saw Lex, um, he was just a little uh, just a little overcooked as mm-hmm. a character. Uh, there, he he had a lot going on, and um, Jesse Jesse Eisenberg's um, promos that came out for this movie, um, everything was just screaming at me. I'm a wacky character. I'm a wacky character. And there was a surprising amount of nuance in what he did. Mm-hmm. Um, but it didn't change the fact that the the character still screams that at you an awful lot. One of the people one of the things I, I told people on, on Facebook, uh, one of the biggest criticisms I tried to stay away from actually reading a full review, but I kept seeing over and over again that, that the major criticism about this movie that is not it's not fun. And what I was trying to say about well, about that, but in particular, was I don't think it should be fun. Batman's a serious fucking character. He is dark and brooding. His parents were fucking killed in front of him, you and talk- he's fighting crime. He lives a nightmare life. And I think that that although those dream sequences kind of sucked in in certain ways, in other ways they kind of they kind of make you realize how much of a nightmare his life is. We're talking about the guy with like the bat cookies and the cookies? and the and the and the and the little ears and the boy sidekick. Hey, there's no boy sidekick in this iteration. No, he's just dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> which which goes back to my point. It's dark and dreary, and everything sucks for this guy. Uh, it's just between between Jesse Eisenberg's parts, which uh, w- which can be funny, and uh, Jer- and Jeremy Irons, which just worked for me. Um, I, I I think it had the appropriate amount of levity, um, uh, and I think it worked in its context. I have, but I have no problem with a fun Batman. That's fine. I don't either. But I like this movie for staying. Yeah, because we're talking the way about we're talking about the arch nemesis of Kite Man. You know, there's a, there's been a lot of Batman. The <laughs> there's been a lot of Batmans over the years. I'll say that much. We're talking about a superhero that has a dance named after him. Okay. The Bat Tootsie. The Bat Tootsie. I know what the Bat Tootsie is. <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. That's a different Batman. <laughs> I don't have. Uh, oh, there's there's two parts because he starts to play with the cape. That's what this. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's afterwards. Yeah, the cape. Yeah, yeah. No, I know the Bat Tootsie. <laughs> don't 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 preach to me about the Bat Tootsie. Don't you second guess my Bat Tootsie. <laughs> um. Okay. So I got one more concern that I, I I had. Sure. Going in, I thought the fight scenes might be a mess. And because we didn't see much of them up until that very last trailer, we didn't really and see when a he's fight. In the scene. dusty orange room. Yeah, we didn't see much of a fight, and I was and I was worried about why they weren't showing us anything. Um, but I don't think I had anything to worry about. Any time that Batman was kicking ass, I fucking loved it. Yes, you know he was just fucking a hoss, which is what I was excited about this particular Batman iteration because it was inspired by Dark Knight: The Returns, the uh, uh, comic book. Mm-hmm. Um, Fucking fantastic! It's exactly what I would have thought he would. He, and he's there he, are there are elements of that book in this movie. Th- yes, <laughs> that's what mostly I'm, it's the physical frame and the way he goes about his his fighting. I think is the only thing that really is borrowed. And though um, though he wasn't shooting a grappling hook out of it, um, he did have a gun, uh, a rifle that was used in the movie. Um, okay, with a tracking device. I had a problem with that. I knew you would. Yeah, because the thing is, like that that whole frame up was obviously for the trailer, so that they could show Batman with a, gun. With a forty caliber sniper rifle, right. and then he uses this thing to 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 launch a tiny tracking device. Yep. When he's accurate enough to have made that shot with a shuriken or a slingshot, anything, <laughs> you know. <he> could... <laughs> uh, okay, so how about this? How about things? Is there anything in this movie you expected to be in it that was not there? I, and while well, you think no, and I can tell you why. Because you weren't expecting anything. You because you no you didn't care. No, because it's my same. It, it's the same issue that I have with Daredevil right now, and it's that it was too highly publicized. Ah, it's very difficult to uh, to surprise people when they're hungry mm-hmm. for all the details before they even see the movie. 
But yeah, it, like I said, there are things about the actual conflict between Batman and Superman that I liked. Um, I thought it was odd that it happened in stages. Like, there was no bones about this. Batman did not believe that there was any way to take down Superman uh, without killing him. He, he, he was going to kill him. Yeah. Um, so why start with sound waves that he didn't know would work and then move on to bullets, which he was sure wouldn't work? So why didn't he just lead? Why didn't he just lead with the thing that he thought would work anyway? Because the whole plot of that fight was, I need to get Superman to this one place where my best weapon is. But the, the his best weapon he could easily carry in his hand. Uh, made for good special effects fun. I suppose so. Okay, you're not wrong. It was it was in lots of parts of it were entertaining to watch. Yeah, which That's all I got. once again. That's that's my review of the movie in a nutshell. Lots of part lots of parts of this thing are entertaining to watch. Yeah, which is much more than I can say about the first movie in this series, mm -hmm. uh, Man, uh, Man of Steel. Um, the whole time I was really uh, I was really happy. I was like, oh wow, they're doing this better than Man of Steel. Yeah, they're doing it much better than Man of Steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought the one thing I, I didn't I haven't said yet, but I completely thought it was a completely. Everybody knows the fucking origin story of Batman. I did not need to see it retold again at the beginning of the movie. I definitely didn't need to see it in a dream sequence where he rises upward towards the light because the bats are yeah. carrying him. This movie, this movie to me was, it almost had too much movie. I enjoyed everything, but there were some parts that I just didn't need. All the, and this is my quick review. I'll say that. So, great movie. Sometimes did too much great movie, mm -hmm. and um, my expectations of things I thought were bad were not as bad as I thought they would be. Yes. So there's that. I think I, I think in a lot of ways, um, I think you may have listened to my propaganda with. Um, well, how did you feel when you first watched Don? Uh, not Don of Justice, um, Man of Steel. What did you think of that movie when you first saw it? When I first saw it, mm -hmm. um, I thought this is probably one of the best superman movies i've ever seen but that's not saying much because i'm not a fan of superman or neither and i'm not a fan of any of the, any of the other movies i've seen uh -huh. that have him in it so i was kind of like meh because i didn't care see i actively disliked it yeah uh, I, I did not i did not feel that way i thought it was an i thought that that movie kind of dragged sometimes but overall i was not displeased with it um and I would say that that's how I feel about this movie, but more enthusiastic. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, would would I see it again? Yes. Oddly I, enough, I'd like to see it again. I will see it again. You will see it again. Yeah. You gonna see it on Sunday? I might. You see it on the Easter Sunday? Yeah, that was that was, that was the best joke. Part. That was the best. The best came from Jay Free at the end. So, like, we've been spoiling the whole thing, so we're not going to warn you again. But so, at the very end, Superman apparently dies. That's in air quotes. He gets a he he, he gets the whammy put on him because right. they cut off they cut off his arm and his bones started growing back. And that the middle was finger bone. Yeah, yeah, that was exactly what he needed to put, Punk, put puncture, Superman on yeah. ice. So, Superman dies. They have separate funerals for Clark Kent and. Um, Superman. Superman gets an empty coffin, obviously. Clark Kent gets the real one. And no uh, autopsy. <laughs> so, so they, have, they, have, they have the funeral. And then they go to a shot. Um, uh, Lois throws some dirt on the coffin, right? And then they do this really big close-up uh, of the coffin with the dirt on it. And you see the dirt start to rise. Yes. And so, obviously, Batman's coming... Or, Batman. Superman is coming back. Well, also, obviously, obviously Batman's coming back. Because he didn't die. Uh, right. <laughs> and, and because... Because... Because of the wonderful things he does. No, because M Mr. Bruce Wayne has a feeling. Oh, good <laughs> goodness, goodness! That was that was that was one of two. That was one of two beats. Okay, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Sure. First, we'll go back to the coffin. So, at the end of the movie, that's at the very end of the movie, you see the, the dirt rising, so you know he's coming back. Jessica, uh, Jay Free, she goes. It's an Easter movie. Yeah. Because well, for one, they actually released it the. Uh, what is it? Was it Thursday before? Well, it's almost Good Friday. It was on. Well, technically, I ran over to Good Friday. Yes. Whatever. Our viewing did. And, yeah. And its official release date was Good Friday. Yes. So it's a goddamn Easter movie yep. because he's the savior. Yes, he died figure. for our sins, and he came back. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> he is risen. It goes. Mr. Bruce Wayne's feeling. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> so so he's he's asking uh, Wonder Woman. I always forget her real name. What's uh, Linda? No, that's not right. That's Linda that's Carter. Somebody, that's somebody who you played are, her. You are correct. Yeah, Linda Carter. Linda Carter. No, her name is D- is Diana Prince. Every time I kept thinking about the character Wonder Woman, I always kept I, oh that's that's Wonder Woman. Uh, uh, Gal Gadot was her real name. And so I kept thinking of her of the actress's name. Oh, the actor. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, regardless, <laughs> so she he's like telling uh, uh, Bruce Wayne is telling her, hey, uh, hey, remember all those people that I sent you and that 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 secret file from Lex Luthor with all the other superheroes in it, the Flash and the Aquaman and all that crap. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can you go gather them up? Uh huh. Why? Uh, I have a feeling. <laughs> it's true that. Um... Uh, in uh, Batman saw the error of his ways in uh, doing so much to weaken Superman before another potential um, apo- threat. Uh, apocalypse threat, yeah, um, or apocalyptic threat. Uh, that he's like, you know what? I, I was wrong. Clark was right. We need powerful people who will be able to answer to these threats. We need the Justice League. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to go find them. And and she was like, they won't want. Uh, they won't want to join us. He's like, they will, and they'll fight. She was like, "Why? Why did you say they were going to fight again?" I got a feeling. I got a feeling. He said that. I got a feeling. Ah, I'm hooked, hooked on, on a feeling. feeling. Justice League is revealing a little smash is smash. That's Flash as quick as lightning. The blur is hardly seen. Cyborg's gonna blow stuff up with an ultrasonic beam. They haven't plugged the Martian, but you know he'll be there. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, we love you guys for watching this all the way to the end. Most people don't make it. You, sir, are a or ma'am, are a winner. We uh, know that it's singular, whoever you are. Right, just one of you. You win. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. If you do like the content, please subscribe. Um, and definitely check out all of our other crap. We have a lot of crap on uh, warlocksentertainment.com. And don't forget to check the, li- uh, the links below for the rest of this podcast. Yes. Okay. And uh, with that, I think it's safe to say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Have fun fighting the bad guys. What? What? Fighting bad guys. That's what you're supposed to do, right? I don't. I don't know what to say. I. 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 I got nervous. I panicked. You got nervous because the audience is so cute. Yeah. That happens to me. Mm-hmm.